Hey YouTube, it's your girl Ash Will and we are back with another video and in this video we are going to be doing a studio vlog, sewing vlog if I can speak and today we are working on basketball bags. This is a very strenuous activity so I typically have to um, you know set apart time for this. I got my phone set up, I got my tools and I got my headphones, I got me some water with the vibes is vibing, my baby sleep. But um, <clears throat> yeah, we're just putting the attachments on basketball bags. This is actually the last one that I have to do. Thank the Lord. Cause um, it's a lot of work on the hands, but yeah, we gonna get to it. I'm about to make, do some, uh, uh, I'm going to add some purse, purse feet to this basketball bag. I'm really trying to get these bags finished so I could get them out of my house and so that i can um you know i guess get those creative juices flowing and then just accomplish something that i said i would accomplish because we don't like not doing what we said we was gonna do thankfully 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 i had all the materials i needed for this so i didn't have to buy anything um so that's all we can ask for is like at least the task is gonna be a little easy, like a little easier because we don't have to go out and buy anything. But I was inspired. I need to look up her name, but I watched this girl's video. She did a 24 hour sewing challenge. I would never do that because staying up 24 hours is crazy, but she just made so much stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, like the stuff she's making is like easy. Like if you dedicate the time to it and I'd be having little spurts here and there when I have the time for it. Like my daughter's about to start school very scared very scared but very happy because it's like if i have like random days off and she still got school like yeah um things will be getting done and like i'll have a whole day to do it all of the attachments are on here including the bottom ones i gotta figure out how to take this off but if not like consider it like off-white it adds character um but yeah we're done i'm about to clean up and then just take a break until my daughter wakes up because I'm tired. Mm -hmm. So I got some light bulbs from my office. They're brighter. I hope they work because like I just bought some light bulbs and I didn't pay attention to like the wattage or the voltage, whatever. I think it's the watts. Yeah, because this is nine watts, 120 volts. I don't even know what the ones in there are. But I'm about to take them out and put these new ones in. Let's look, let's do this. Like, it's not nighttime, but still. This is what it looks like now. And then we're gonna change it, okay? Okay. Here you go, follow me, hang around. Oh. Ooh, my silly hot. Hold it. There's a switch on this. Let me see. I mean, okay, if I didn't have to buy these, I'm taking them back. This whole time, this whole time, I'm taking these back. Or maybe we use them somewhere else, I'll check. But this whole time, I could have had the light that I wanted. Why they have this yellow light? Why they have this yellow light? Why? See, this is why we investigate stuff. I'm fucking pissed. Okay, let me change the other one. I have white light now, and the whole time, I had it and I didn't need to buy lights, but I bought lights. Adulting. So with these, they don't, they not adjustable. They not like what I got. Okay, it's just, you wanna see the room? You do? Okay, let me show you the room. Um, let's see, do it look different? Do it look different? Hold on, uh, do it look different? Does it look different? I think it looks different. Like, I still feel like I need more lights. Like, I don't know why when they built this room, they only put two lights in the center of the room. But I think, you know, I think I like it now. I am dumbfounded. Yeah, these might go back. I don't even think they're as expensive, but I'm trying to like, declutter and not like just have extra stuff for the sake of having extra stuff like 
let's get stuff ready, okay? Okay. So I got this frame for some of my daughter's artwork and her artwork is kind of like doing a lot on my desk right now. So I want to clean some of it up really quickly. And I figured I'd show y'all because I haven't opened this yet. My plan is to hang it on my wall because um, I want to put it up on my wall with the rest of the other artwork, you know, keep her inspired. But yeah, this is the case or the picture frame. I think it's the list of dimensions, like eight and a half by 11, I think. But yeah, this is it. I'm gonna put her art in there. How do I take the protective film off? Oh, what? You could write on it? I didn't know it was gonna come with markers and then it came with these like interesting things to um, hang them on the wall. But that's cool. I didn't know it was gonna come with that. Mm. Come here. Come, come. Come, come. Let's try out these markers. So it's just like, it's like acrylic marker. There's several colors. Um, I hate tape. Let's see. Gonna do the brown. Make it closer. Brown. Oh wow. That was rich. That was free. And then you can see white. That's crazy, right? Hey y'all, it is August 1st. I just dropped got back from dropping my daughter at her first day of school. Um, she did fine. She did fine. I was a little worried. Like I thought that like, since she's never been away from me, she was going to be like crying for real, for real, but she was fine. I think it was like a little bit of shock. Like she didn't know what was going on. She did cry for a second because I had taken her little Miles action figure and put it away, but she wanted to hold it. But the teacher said she could hold it, which is fine. Hopefully she don't use, lose it. So we'll see what happens. Um, what was I going to say? Oh. So this is probably going to be a continuation. I don't even need to say it. It's a continuation, whatever. But we got a lot to do today. I got a whole list. Um, so on the list, I have to wash some bundles that I got to do me some flip over Filani braids. I need to edit my post for tomorrow for TikTok. I need to do my hair. I'm probably going to do that when my daughter goes to sleep, quite honestly, because um, my husband's going out of town. So that means I could blow dry in our bathroom. Um, I usually don't because he be asleep. It won't wake my daughter up, but it will probably disturb him. Okay. Um, and then I have to work out today because I'm blow drying my hair today because I want the whole day to do my hair tomorrow. I need to get hair gel so I could do my hair. And then I also need to, uh, charge my car. So I'm about to go charge my car right now and take y'all with me. I'm probably going to get something to eat because I'm starting to starve. Um, but yeah, busy, busy day. A lot to do. I don't think I'm gonna have time for a nap. Uh, but yeah, the last week before I go back to work. Oh, so fun. Yeah, we all want to work. But yeah, okay. I came back home because I need to switch cars. I have my husband's car, but um, we about to dip out. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So I just got to Nectar. I thought it was closed. Or I actually just got to the car charger. I thought Nectar was closed. I was about to be so freaking sad. But oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Before I get out the car. Okay, so I'd be listening to a lot of true crime, right? So I was listening to this episode about like this fire that was set and this guy was cute. I don't understand like criminals really be thinking that they're smart because this lady She's doing all this shit that makes her look guilty as hell. First of all, she's calling the police asking for updates on the case. But, like, not only is she doing that, she's pretending to be somebody else when she's calling. Sis, <laughs> they know it's you at this point. And then, like, she goes and does an interview. I don't get, like, if you are a criminal and you know you did some shit, do not go to that interview. And if you go to the interview, request a lawyer. Because, like, what are you doing going and talking to them and lying and thinking they're not going to find out? Like, what are you doing? Oh, and then also, like, on that same note. So, I was um, at home yesterday and I thought I heard something at the door. So, I go and I open the door. Why did, like, a card fall out? I pick up the card. It's a card from, like, a homicide detective. And he's, like, on the back of the car, he wrote, Oh, call me back in regards to, like, your ring camera. 
So I call the officer or call the detective, right? And he's like, can you look through your cameras and like send me like whatever, um, send me whatever footage you have from that time frame, right? So I go through, I send him the videos. He called me back and he's like, yeah, like you, you have great footage, but you didn't like get us what we needed. But like the little murderer, you know what I mean? The little true crime fanatic was like, <laughs> my stuff could have potentially helped solve the case like that like would have made my dreams come true like if like my stuff uh actually like did help oh, okay let's see my baby she has cereal fruit and milk she loves cereal and she ate most of it that's my girl that's my girl um but yeah like criminals y'all are a little fucking dumb but maybe that's why y'all criminals because like you think you're smart but you're like Okay, let me go get this damn. Come back. Let me go get this damn nectar. So I could be about my business. I forgot that I freaking have a, a interview today. Like, I'm real mad about that. But also, I don't want to keep the job that I was offered. At least as of right now. Because I was looking. And the company I'm about to be working for, they just did layoffs. Why would I go somewhere where they just did layoffs and I got laid off and I'm not trying to get laid off again? Like, what? But yeah, I'm about to go get my nectar. Nectar. Let me turn it off. It'd be loud in here. Okay, package acquired. We have Le Ginger Shots. Um, you know, gotta get the mood right. And I feel like the ginger shot helps with that. And then I got a peanut butter something ball. Just know that it's about to be good. Y'all, like, I'm really trying, like, not to get depressed about going back to work. Because I honestly hate it. I hate the hustle and bustle. I hate rushing. I hate having my time dictated by somebody else. Like, I don't like how it's, like... 90% of the day or like 80% of the day I'm having to like code switch and I could go to my job and not code switch but I feel like when I do that people don't like me and then it makes my job hard like in my last job at a certain point like I would be working on a project with people and they just like stopped inviting me to the meetings and like they would make decisions on stuff and then like I would find out about it later and I'm just like, dang, like, when did that happen? Like, when did y'all do that? Like, oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. Like, all right, like, I'll make the nece necessary changes on my end. But, like, that shit just was annoying and it sucked. It made working hard. Uh, Yeah, like, I just, like, I really don't like it. And it's just, like, being out right now, because it's early. It's 9.02. Being out right now and seeing everybody, like, getting stuff to go to work, like, in their work clothes, everybody just, like, in their phones, like, it's just, like, so high of stress, and so I'm hoping that, like, it's only temporary that I have to go back, or honestly, I'm about to make it temporary, let's just say that, but let's take this ginger shot, mm. of course, I'm gonna spill some on my shirt, but dang, that was tangy, I got a ginger shot with lemon, very very tangy um but i have quite a few things to do today literally forgot about that interview and i think like i need to be on camera so like i need to be at home to take it so i'm probably gonna charge my car and then see how much time i have left if i have time to go by that beauty supply store before it's time for my interview i will but i honestly don't know because um that beauty supply is back by my house and I'm on the other side of town right now. Not I'm gonna take this shit back. Give me a brown ass apple. Like why the apple brown? I know it's nothing wrong with it, it just means it oxidized. But let me oh let me actually pray. Okay. This angle it's a little crazy, but we just finished charging the car. I was able to get my video edited for TikTok tomorrow. The only thing, though, is, <clears throat> excuse me, the only thing is I still need to do the voiceover for the video. Haven't done that yet, but otherwise, it's all cut up, sliced up the way that it needs to be. That will be posted on time tomorrow. And then I'm about to go home because the ginger shot, it was doing things to me. But what I wanted to say, look, 
so i charged my car like yeah you gotta charge the tesla a lot but i paid 27 2047 and it got me 252 miles which is basically change 85 percent so not too shabby because because <clears throat> it's gonna last me like a pretty good amount of time but yeah like if you get a tesla just know like you essentially like have to charge that hoe like all the time and it's a little frustrating like i remember kiamani 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 right i remember she was complaining about like how much she had to charge her car and that's why she went and got a new one and baby i would too but when i bought this car i actually fucking bought it like an idiot like i should have leased it like i had did my last car because i know i'd be liking to get new cars and because like i'm in the phase girl i'm leaving calm the fuck down um tesla drivers and these fucking chargers are so fucking annoying bro that's another reason to get rid of this bitch so like you ain't gotta go deal with the charging because like people they'll like be ready to fight over getting a freaking um charge install because i'm not gonna lie <clears throat> they do be backed up like often like there's often times where like you really gotta wait to get a stall but um yeah you gotta charge this what sir is this another tesla driver driving crazy in front of me mm -hmm, say sorry because what the are you doing um anywho the car it's like it takes a lot of in charge like and if you drive a lot you're gonna be irritated but i bought this car because i was like oh no that's gonna be my forever car like it's gonna be like so much better than having a gas car but like honestly honestly it's a little bit irritating with this car sometimes just because of like how much you have to charge it like sometimes when my husband and i when we go on certain trips we'll take his car because he has a hybrid so yeah it's still good on miles but we're not having to stop so often to charge it and then like stop for so long like sometimes it is long but like oddly like when your battery is lower the car charges faster so you get more charge faster than if like your battery is like on 50 percent then you gonna charge it i probably should make a whole video about like the things dang san diego roads be bad um the things that like irritate me about this car and like also the pros like because yeah there are some pros to this car but also there's like in my opinion a lot of cons i need to figure out how long this vlog is gonna be i think i'm gonna cut it off after this weekend and make it like my last week before i return back to slavery i mean back to work and then um leave it at that but and then i need to make like a separate video for my blowout routine why are you speeding the light is red bro i need to make a separate video for my blowout routine and for a trim because that's a video i still want to do so yeah let me like stop rambling so much i don't even remember what the point was that i was trying to get across other than i'm about to go home and i got some shit done already checklist is getting checked check a tub okay we just pulled up at the beauty supply and i'm so mad i wasted my time y'all the freaking interview first of all it was a phone interview i should have checked my email before i went home second of all she's like yeah are you like willing to relocate to new jersey bitch from new jersey san diego to new jersey no thanks but yeah we're at the uh beauty supply now it's a black on beauty supply i'm trying to come give them some love i don't know if they're gonna have what i have because i checked on their what's it called on their instagram but this is what it is it's called royal creations hair but i checked on their instagram i don't know if they have what i need but they're like if we don't have it we'll try and like make a recommendation for you i'm like all right cool but i just need to get some braid gel it's my edge control say hi how you doing your hair looks good it's cute you're welcome all right so we have acquired two things so we got the shining jam because i know i always use this i'm trying to get away from using it though because i feel like it really dries my hair out and then we got the baskin lather edge control that i've seen on tiktok it has like very compelling advertising so i'm gonna get that one 
I didn't find the braid gel that I want. I either want to get the Camille Rose braid gel or that green gel. I forget what it is. I think it's called like pure gel or something like that, but it's like green. I want to get that. And I saw a beauty supply on my way over here. I saw um, Sam's Beauty. So we're about to stop there before I go back home because I believe this is the last thing I need to do outside of my house. And then everything else that I need to do is either in my house or like to my hair. And y'all, I'm tired already. This is big. Got right thing. That don't look like the right aisle. This looks like the right aisle. I got all the braids stuff. But <gasps> I found it. How did I know that it's gonna have it here? Oh, it's expensive. I don't know what you want to get. Oh, they're all the same. They have a small one. Let me turn this off. They have a small one. It's not going to focus on my face right here. Here we go. They have this one. But then they have this big one. This one's $16.99. I think I'm going to get this one. Like, look. This is like, I guess, if you work at a beauty spot. Look at how big that one is. Like this one. It's so damn big. And then they have, I've never seen this one in this size crazy okay mission accomplished i probably should have came here first but you know support the people okay real quick before i go home uh the one thing i will say that the shining jam was cheaper at the black owned place so good thing that i did get it there but i also did get some lot of body because i always need that and then i got this bag loud some more of this because i was running out always need that i got that oh shiza I got the conditioner. I need to go back in. I need to get the shampoo. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Thank God I checked. And then I got this nail brush for my daughter. Because if you have a kid, their nails just be dirty. And I don't like that for her. We don't we do not do that. But uh, let me go back up in that store real quick so I could get the right thing. We don't need the conditioner. We need the shampoo baby. It is currently 9.57. And I'm supposed to be so much farther than I am. Like, my hair is not washed. My daughter literally just got back in the bed. Like, I just knew she was going to be exhausted after going to school for the first day. And she wasn't. Like, she looked exhausted. But was she acting like it? No. Because she had a swim. And we took her to swim. And then brought her back home. She asked for some milk. I gave her milk. I put her in the bed. She starts crying. So I had to go get her out because she was talking about she was hungry. I'm like, girl, I tried to feed you before swimming. You didn't want to eat. So here we are. I'm trying to figure out the best course of action because I really wanted to braid my hair tomorrow. But I have none of like the groundwork done. So I'm probably just going to like wash my hair and blow dry it tonight. Don't do a trim. And then in the morning, do a trim and braid. Baby, I'm about to put me a bonnet on and call it a night. I'm just mad because I don't have ponytail holders in here. And I know I can't sleep with these clips. I feel like walking to the back of the house again. I feel like I didn't check in with y'all this morning. Like I took my daughter to school and then I came home. I trimmed my hair. You will be seeing that video. I don't know if you're gonna see it before or after this one, but maybe before, I don't know. I have to figure out the order that I wanna um, post these videos in. But I did trim my hair. This is what we looking like. Big lioness, yes baby. Um, and we're about to take a quick break i think i might prep all my hair and stuff actually i'm not because i don't feel like it i am going to take a quick break and then we will be back to start the braiding process i'm behind schedule random so i'm break like parting my hair right and i'm watching unsolved mysteries and it's the episode about the severed head that they found why are they showing real pictures they like blurred the face a little bit but like they're showing legitimately real pictures of this lady like she like you could see that it's a head you could see how her hair is like you could see everything scary y'all not the fucking police coming back by my house about that crime i'm like i want to ask them so bad what the fuck 
happened but I know they can't tell none of the details but I'm just like should I be worried but I've had my alarm at my on in my house like ever since I found that out like it's basically it's not turning off because I'm like what the fuck happened but um yeah I'm like what happened what happened I need to look it up I need to do some googles like because they're with homicide and violent crimes I'm like who fucking died and where mm. hey y'all checking in I finished my hair and this Baskin lather edge control what y'all be putting in this shit because girl and then random my dad my grandma she passed away god rest her soul she had a sewing machine an old singer it has so much dust on it but baby to have a backup serger and this is like an old one they built stuff different back in the day so i expect this to be marvelous um i gotta get it cleaned up oiled up and then we should be gucci and i need to look up like how to thread it i can't imagine it's that much different than the one that i already have but we'll see but i'm about to eat breakfast get dressed and then we're gonna figure out what we're doing let me not be so close today but yes we're eating this video will be up either before or after this one y'all let me know <laughs> uh but yeah let me go eat shower and be cute mm -hmm. hey girl what's your name mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep i did it myself yeah cute and i'm the edge control is edging like it's so hard you don't find this even hicks can't do this or it can but you gotta like you gotta wrap it i ain't gotta wrap nothing me and my parents RV at Mission Bay RV Park. No, having a little snacky water. snack. Got bribed and taking the children to the beach. It's windy. I wouldn't go down crazy. I don't know you like that. It's a pretty day though. Oh, but Sydney, no, look, it's over there. How do we get over there? Oh, walk around. Let's go there. Okay, let's go that way. It seems closer than going this way. Oh, you have to, bro, we're closer. This is, this goes. No, it's not. If we walk no. over there, this is a bike path. Oh, yeah, what? Yeah, I don't know where we going. We're trying to get over there. But it seems so far. It's so windy. But yeah. Okay, so it is all the way the next day. I had to uh, bring them back to the beach. I got stuck with four kids at the beach by myself. What do I look like with four kids at the beach by myself? Especially since I only have one. Um, but yeah, yesterday, the walk was too much. I couldn't do it. Like We were gonna have to walk like a mile to get to the beach. So I was like, look, I'll bring it. Uh-uh! Like I was saying, we were gonna have to walk a mile to get to the uh, beach yesterday. And I was not doing that because it was way too hot. So here we are out here today, it's hot. But I, where is that? Come on camera, follow me, follow me. I put on um, cool, I like them. You can't take them back though. I put on some leggings and then this long sleeve shirt because one thing I'm not about to do is get um, burnt up because I stay getting a sunburn when I come outside. Sunblock or no sunblock, we get in a sunburn. So we have to avoid that today. But I'll let y'all scope the scenery my nephew my baby oh it's so hot we not staying long but yeah this is where we're at it's in mission bay san diego i don't see no ice cream man y'all i see the ice like the truck for the snow cones but i don't see an ice cream man i don't want that i want an actual like ice cream but yeah we bet the let these kids play for a little bit and then get ready to go home because I'm tired, boss. I went to sleep at 2. Maybe, yeah, I think I went to sleep around 2. And then my daughter was up by 7 o'clock. Yeah, because she got up at like 6.50, so she got up by 7 o'clock. Treacherous. Hey friends.
everyone so we are back with the last day of the vlog it is monday august 5th and this is my last day of freedom before i have to go back to work if you can't tell i'm real sad about it but um i have a few things i need to do the job can call me this morning and they were like oh um your laptop is ready so your manager wanted to know if you wanted to come work today no why would why would i want to do that if you called me on friday and you told me i wasn't working on monday why would i want to come into work on monday nah so we have a few things to do today first things first we're gonna go get some boba milk tea for my husband and I. i'm gonna drop his off and then i need to go charge my car so i could make it to work because i don't know if they have charging there and then i need to go to costco because we are out of toilet paper and tissue oh no tissue and paper towels and we don't have no water like no bottled water so we got to go get all of that and then what else do we need to do oh i'm considering going to trader joe's i'm gonna look up that dense bean salad lady on tiktok while i'm charging my car because i need to prep me some lunches for the week and i do want to start eating salad for lunch again so the body can be tea okay body already is tea but it'll be more body yaddy yaddy um but yeah we got a few things to do and then i want to try and edit the video that i'm recording now today so i could post it today we're gonna see if that can happen because like i don't have my daughter she is at school so it might be a possibility oh and we also have to go to the bank and then i'm being real ambitious if i can record a video of me making a tube top I'm gonna do that too to post on either here or on TikTok. Haven't decided yet, but as you can see, the schedule is packed. I honestly feel like I always have so much on my to do list, and then I be putting too much on there, and then I get sad when I don't accomplish it all. But it's like, girl, you could just move what you didn't do today to the list tomorrow. But it's just like that overwhelming sense of dread that like I'm going to be working soon. So I'm not going to have the same freedom that I had now. And it's just like, I know you can't go back and change things. But I'm like, dang, why couldn't my daughter be in school while I was laid off? Like, it would have made things so much easier. Like, I didn't understand it before I have kids. But like, when you have kids, like trying to get stuff done, sometimes it really just be impossible. And you just got to pack it up and wait until they're asleep. And so like, I did do things like I would literally like be working during her nap time. But like two hours out the day ain't a lot. So like the progress was real slow. So yeah, I digress. Either way, we about to go. Let me take this damn sunshade out. It is hot in San Diego. Like San Diego, what are we doing? It'll never be this hot. But yeah, I'm about to go run these errands so I could get back here and start editing this video for y'all and get out this damn sun. It's hot. But yeah, that is what we're about to do. Hopefully y'all wasn't too shaky. But yeah, that's what we're about to go do. Okay, so we have made it to the Chargers and per usual, this shit packed as hell. Like, there's a car over there waiting. I was in that line, three cars deep. And then on this other side, everything's taken. And these people kept cutting me. I'm like, y'all, it's not that serious. The fa the places will open up. And if you're in a rush, maybe you shouldn't be here, you know? So I had to get me a little slow little charger, but it's okay. It's okay. I got my little drinky drink. It's hot. Um, yeah, but I already freaking forgot to go to one place i needed to go to the bank just to put some um cash in my account we need to see if there's a bank over here if there is a wells fargo over here i guess i'll walk to it if it's not that far but the way that this weather is weathering i don't feel like doing that i can't wait to get a charger at home as soon as i have the money i'm going to buy the fucking charger and then finding somebody like on thumbtack or something to come on install, install that hoe for me because no 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 i don't want to be fighting people to charge my damn car like no all right i'll check back in probably after costco because oh probably after i get home quite honestly because i need to speed it up it's already 11 48 yeah okay two things we have finished our shopping or well, three things i guess two things three things girl you just said three things um i finished shopping i went to uh costco went to trader joe's we we're about to go home but when i was leaving um 
what's it called trader joe's the lady was like oh my god i like your hair and she was talking about it and then she knew what baby hairs were and she wasn't black she said she liked my baby hairs i thought that was so funny third thing i have a question for y'all when y'all go to costco do y'all be doing self-checkout or do y'all like go to the little check stand and have the people check you out because me personally i'm like i didn't come here to be an employee i already got to put all the shit in my basket you gonna do the rest of it for me and I, I literally, like, every time I go, I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like being an employee today. Like, y'all about to do my stuff for me. Because think about it. You got to put the stuff in the basket, like, when you're shopping. Then you got to take some of it out to put on the little thing. And then, like, technically, if you went to self-checkout, you would have been taking it out the thing, out your basket to put on the thing to scan it, and then putting it back in your basket when it's time to go. That's already too much. Then you got to take it and put it in your car. And then after you take it and put it in your car, you got to take it home and put it away. If I could have one less time of like lifting things up and putting things away, I'm going to take it every time. The only place I feel like I religiously um, do self-checkout is Target. Because like I don't, I don't always buy a lot of stuff there. And even if I do, it's still easy to check out by yourself there. But baby, Costco could keep it. I'm not I'm not doing it at Costco. And I know they have the people come sometimes and scan like the heavy stuff and like your toilet paper and stuff. I, no, just scan it all. Scan it all, please. Especially because I usually be having my daughter. Like, of course, I don't have her this time because she at school. But like, baby, give me a break. Hey, hey, ladies and gents. So we are back home. I think I'm in the vlog here. I'm literally sitting at my desk about to hook up my camera and start getting this footage off the camera. Um, but yeah, thanks for spending my last week fun employed with me. Hopefully this job will be temporary because your girl ain't got it. And honestly, as far as my list goes for today, I think I've accomplished all that I can because, um, it's 2.48 and I need to go get my daughter by like 3.30 because like, like I said previously, she don't need to be there that long if, um, I'm not working. So I got basically household tasks done today so far dense bean salad is not made so if i do end up making that dense bean salad you won't even see this part you won't even see it and you'll just see me making the salad if i don't make it on here i'll probably make it like as a tiktok or something um who knows because i still have to make dinner <laughs> gotta make me some lunch or like get some lunch or something going for tomorrow since i actually have to go to the office and then i need to take my like take inventory of what work clothes I have so I can see what I'm gonna wear tomorrow and for the rest of the week since I can't wear leggings. Um, but yeah, thanks for spending the time with me. And if you made it to this in to the end of the video, thank you so very, very much. Um, because these videos take effort. So like you guys watching them, you know, giving input, leaving comments, I appreciate it so much. So you can expect from me this vlog a blowout and trim video with the new trim method that I learned, and then you can expect me to do these braids in a video as well i believe that i recorded that in like the youtube format if not you'll see it on tiktok you know you know turn on post notifications for each of them so you can know when your girl posts stuff and be sure to like comment and please subscribe i appreciate it all right i'll see you next time and if i have salad in my teeth you didn't see it okay <laughs> bye